Good morning, folks, your old friend, Zen 1010, with the ability to live in the now without trying. Uh, the first man alive to have a hemorrhoid transplant, and the only man known to really be a money magnet without but I have the same two poles, and so the money will come toward me, but lo and behold, the moment that it comes toward me, I push it away, if you know what I mean. If you had two magnets and they had the same pole, you know, they kind of push each other out of the way. That's what happens to me, and so the problem with me happens. But look, I've turned into a vaporhead, folks. My God, I discovered something that was miraculous this week. Didn't really discover it this week, but let me get a toke off of my new uh, habit I've got here. Mmm. My new electronic cigarette. I'm proud of it as a kid with a new bike on Christmas. Uh, or a new scientist with a rocket ship. Uh, all I need now is a time machine. Hey, listen, folks. These things here are be are selling like uh, like they're giving them away. These electronic cigarettes, and people are selling them. And they tell me that uh, even if you make a, a small dent in the cigarette production and purchasing, you'll still there's still billions of dollars to be made in an alternative to smoking cigarettes. Now, this, let me grab another tote here. Mmm. 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 I've got a tobacco flavored one here. There's thousands of flavors you can get. They've got little, little bottles of e-liquid, they call it that you put in your uh, apparatus. And uh, they tell me this is nothing burning here. This is not smoke coming away from these things. It's vapor. It vaporizes in the, in the apparatus. And uh, it's a great way to enjoy smoking if you like to smoke. Um, I do enjoy a cigar and a gra glass of liquor while I'm playing blackjack or something like that. But listen, folks. Um, uh, Americans will do anything and bite into anything and they have taken a big chunk out of these electronic cigarettes people are I know some people that are selling them boy and they're making that money I might get into it and call mine something like Zen 10 tens electronic smoking tarts but I tell you um, there are thousands of them on the market uh, you can go to the con little convenience stores. I made the mistake of buying one in a convenience store. I paid about ten bucks for one, and uh, they said, "Oh, this is about like a carton of cigarettes. You get over four hundred uh, puffs off of the thing." I think I got naturally about a hundred, and it just stopped working, and I throwed it out the window. But uh, since then, I purchased one here where I. Uh, I it last long a little bit longer. It's really just a battery in a chamber that uh, uh, electrical current goes through and vaporizes the electronic liquid in there and gives off a vapor and gives you the uh, gives the appearance of smoking. But you're really not smoking, they tell me. It's just vapor and therefore not hurting you or anyone else. But um, it's a wonderful thing that uh, we do here in America and around the world. They're, they're doing it too. Um, you're, even if you, uh, uh, they tell me, if you, did, if you puffed on these things 24 hours a day, you wouldn't hurt yourself. Except you might uh, develop a cancer on the tip of your tongue or something. But... Um, I am going to, uh, you know, uh, I might uh, develop some interesting flavors, you know. Um, you, you can, uh, I might develop some flavors, you know, that are pretty neat, uh, like uh, T-bone steak, uh, uh, rawhide, uh, beef jerky, um, hot dogs. Uh, I had some the other day. I uh, took a sample of uh, some blueberry pancakes flavor. Absolutely delicious. I uh, had some uh, some orange flavor that was really good. Grapefruit flavor. 
uh, they've got some that uh, that has the uh, but since Michael Douglas come out with his story on oral sex uh, I, I don't think I'm gonna put the flavor of you know what on any of them uh, that might not be too good but anyway uh, try yourself uh, let me have another hit off of this thing and become a vapor head here mm-hmm Ah, uh, mine, as I said, is the natural flavor of tobacco, and it does taste exactly like a very good mild cigarette, but uh, uh, I've had some uh, peach-flavored waffles and some lemonade flavors and all kinds of things. A good business, uh, you know, idea uh, to, uh, to get out here and, and make yourself some extra money. Uh, it's, uh, it's not too late, I don't think, to, to begin distributing, and, uh, even if you, uh, get out there and, uh, and make just a small dent in the cigarette, uh, business, uh, you there's billions of dollars to make because people are, uh, everyone is not going to quit smoking, and I don't know what the population of America is, but it's somewhere around 300 million, I think, and there's a whole bunch of them people smoking. So uh, they're going to switch over to these uh, uh, these little apparatus and and become vapor heads, as they call them. Uh, we'll all go uh, meet in a vapor pen, and uh, with a chain around our neck and one of these things hanging there. Mm, let me get another hit. Mm. Mm -mm. Boy, that's good. Um, but anyway. Uh, Zen 10 10 talking about the vapor pens and all the vapor craze, the electronic cigarettes and electromagnetic fields. Have fun with them and uh, we'll catch you on the flip flop. Zen 10 10 reporting on electronic cigarettes. Bye bye.